Race remains a potent and often divisive force in our society. If every economic issue is framed as a struggle between a hardworking white middle class and an undeserving minority, then workers of all shades are going to be left fighting for scraps while the wealthy withdraw further into their private enclaves. They won't change overnight. Social attitudes oftentimes take generations to change. But if our democracy is to work the way it should in this increasingly diverse nation, then each one of us need to try to heed the advice of a great character in American fiction, Atticus Finch, who said, you never really understand a person until you consider things from his point of view, until you climb into his skin and walk around in it. For blacks and other minority groups, that means tying our own very real struggles for justice to the challenges that a lot of people in this country face. For white Americans, it means acknowledging that the effects of slavery and Jim Crow didn't suddenly vanish in the 60s. That when minority groups voice discontent, they're not just engaging in reverse racism or practicing political correctness. When they wage peaceful protests, they're not demanding special treatment, but the equal treatment that our founders promised. <laughs>